Well, my room is all comic book affied. See, look, isn't that cute? Now let's do the nails. I'm sure you've seen the comic book nails. I love them. I think they're so cool. So I wanted to try them myself. So we were going to do an effect. Remember, Cameraman, we checked an effect for like comic book effect out. Remember that? Comic book effect. Yeah, we checked it on like doing effect with through the camera, like through the computer. No, I don't. Oh, he, okay. Uh, now you remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then we decided, I thought, I'm going to do it for real. I'm just going to, just going to make the whole background like a comic book. It started with the hands and then I kind of went to the face and I thought then the background, you know, one thing led to another. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to start with coffin long tips. So I'm going to grab the one that I want. Okay, I buffed the nail. It's all ready to go. I even put my bridge on it to bond it together. I've done them all ahead of time, so I just had the one so you knew how I was starting the nail. And I'm just going to get my easy gel. Mine's hybrid gel. I call it easy gel. Hybrid gel is the overall product. And easy gel is my particular brand. So I'm just going to put enough in there. Make sure it fits all the way around. Give it a nuke. Now I'm going to file them all up, like just prep the tip of it. Then we're going to get to the color. So then I just go around and anything that might have seeped out the side, I can just file it off. It appears that nothing really seeped down around here. It just seems to be a little bit right here. Then I'll go do all of them because that's how I applied all of these. Make sure there's a nice separation between the cuticle and then it's a really quick way to get some nails on. I just want to get to the design right now. Then I'm going to just buff all of them so they really hang on to that gel polish. So I'm just going to give them all a quick buff. Okay, so I'm just going to dust those up. Now we're going to mix the color. I, I'm going to have some bold colors, but I want them a little bit on the softer side. Caraman, what's your favorite? You, between green and blue, pick for the thumb. Green or blue? Green. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of white. We need the white for the reflective color. And then here's the green that he likes. The reason why I'm mixing is because I want the darker color too. And I'll show you. It's an accent. Comic book nails are all about a solid color and then accenting that color with light and dark. It's really as simple as that. See, I'm going to leave a little bit of the green color, the dark, because I do want the dark there. Maybe I'll add just a little bit more lighter to this mixture, because the dark is pretty dark. Okay, so I'm just going to mix these two up. I think I want a little bit more of the dark. I didn't have to add the white then, because that worked. Okay, so I'm going to paint this color on here. Oh, that's so pretty. We are going to outline it in black too, so you don't have to get super crazy with the cuticle work if that's not your strong suit. We're going to line it in black anyway, so don't get too hard on yourself. What a beautiful color. Okay, I am gonna nuke it, but I just realized I need to move this out of the way. <laughs> because, you know, I will. Don't wanna nuke it right on there because I'm gonna use that color again. I'm gonna put two coats of this color on too. Okay, so I've got two coats on it now. Now here's the comic book effect we're gonna start with. I'm just gonna get some lag. Much like what I did with my nail room here, I trimmed everything in black. That's what we want to do with this. So I'm going to get my nail art brushes. And I think I want this long 
skinny one. Now what we want to do is saturate those bristles. Okay, so we just want to get the, oh, 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 wait, wait. I almost forgot my accent color. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but I thought I might. And that is a little bit darker of the green. Remember I put the darker one aside? I just need a little bit more. Just put a bit more in there. So it's gonna get this darker color and I'm just gonna paint it across just to give, you know, some comic books sort of just have the blocking of colors. They don't really have a, like a fade so much. They just do blocks of colors. Now, if you do this though, do do it the same on every finger. You just wanna put a swash of the deeper color in it. And again, you don't have to do this. It's just sort of my artistic idea. I mean, I even thought of ombreing it, like doing a complete fade. But I thought, nah, that's just making it too complicated. We want to make it as simple as possible. And you want to keep it very comic book. Notice behind me, I didn't put those fairy lights that I usually have because I'm trying to keep it like hard lined, right? That's what I'm going to do here. I will um, cure this because I want to make sure every layer is cured so if they're not interfering with each other. If the lines are crossing each other, you definitely want to cure every single layer. Okay, so now let's do that black line that I'm clearly so anxious to do. And so that's what you want to do is you want to do a black line around the perimeter, much like I did behind me and in my shirt and my face. Everything is kind of like a black hard line. And that's what you want to do around here. And you do want to do it rather thick too. This whole black part is the design. It is the feature part of the design. So don't skimp out on being too thin. Yeah, I wanna make this side thicker because you wanna see it from the top side really good. Okay, that looks pretty good. Although it could come tapered in a bit more. And then don't forget that top side. There's a little tip part in the end there, a little bit. I just have to file that off. Okay, well that's good. And that side is harder for me to do because I can't see it as well. But I'm going to show you how to fix those boo-boos going to clean my brush in the previous. Just get yourself a really nice gel brush and we just want to crisp that edge up. I mean that's the beauty of working with the gel. If this is nail polish you literally have one shot at it. You can't really remove it so well because it dries on you. But this stuff, gel, it's got some play time. So and if I can't fix it this way I'll just rub it off and do it all again. Now I'm just debating if that cuticle area is too thick. It's hard, I got lots of lights reflecting on it, so it's hard to see if it's even, but I think it is a little thick, I think. I think I'm just going to And if you don't like it, you can always just literally rub it all off and do it again. See how easy you can fix an error. I mean, I'm getting super picky now. It's only because I photographed them too and I like them to look nice. Okay, so I am going to nuke that. And then I'm going to think about my other parts, my reflection part. Ooh, get them away from that. Get the light away from that gel. Ooh. Okay, so what you also need is some white gel on its own and some black gel on its own. And now we're gonna do the highlights, the low lights and the highlights to give it that comic book look. Okay, so now if you have nuked this, which I would highly suggest that you do, once you cure this, when you make a boo-boo, cause you might make a boo-boo with this part cause it's kind of a, like a swoop. I'm gonna do the low lights first. No, no, I'm gonna do the highlights first. The highlights are, think of it like when you're looking at something that is a sphere or height, height to it, the highest point will have a shimmer on it. So think of it that way. So we're just gonna take a little bit of white. 
and we're gonna sort of decide. I mean, you can see it right now with the camera lights, right? So if you really don't even know, you could just get yourself a light and wherever your light, like you can see the light is actually hitting right there. So we could actually copy that if we wanted. Now when you move it, it's gonna be in different spots. So we're gonna, we're gonna think there might be one right here. That'll be one highlight. And then I could make it a bit bigger, I think. Because, you know, we are exaggerating this situation. That looks good. I can see that. Oh, that looks so cute. Sometimes there's a little glimmer of dots of lights. Like in comic books, sometimes things will be put together with dots. So we could even do that here. Let's put one there. And maybe we do a shimmer across here. could do a little streak of light right here, let's say. Okay, so I'm just hitting all the high points. I'm going to take the same brush actually because I like the way it's working. I'm not doing longer lines, I'm doing shorter long lines. <laughs> so when you do shorter long lines, you do definitely want a brush that can swoop a little, but you don't need it as long as this one. See that black one's quite a bit longer when I'm doing the long lines, I definitely want that. So I'm doing long lines, but I'm not doing them as long. So I'm going to get a little bit of black. And right along the white, I'm going to swoop a black line and bring it right beside that white shimmer. Just to show that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take a tiny little line. I mean, I don't have to do any more, actually. It looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll just do... A little one right here and then and this is my thumbnail I mean I posted a video recently where I said I'm just gonna use my thumbnail sort of the practice and then a viewer mentioned that her friend would use it as they she call it the junk nail <laughs> and that's sort of what I'm doing with the thumb it's sort of a throwaway but sometimes it can turn out to be the best because you don't have any expectations you're just kind of eh, and you just try a bunch of stuff and you're like I love it so it can be a really great nail sometimes. So I've also got that color. Remember the dark color we put on there? I'm going to use it as a streak too. Now I might be doing too much, but again, I'm over trying things to see what I like. So I'm going to take the original color, like the darker color that's in here. Remember that we put there? And I'm just going to see if it is happy if I just go maybe right here. Yep. <laughs> and maybe I'll do a dot maybe right there okay so that's one comic book nail cute I can't wait to do the whole set okay so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna film it but I'm gonna do a different colors on the remaining four nails and I think we're gonna do it in sort of like a you know fancy time lapse thing let's go Okay, I'm gonna top coat them now. So in that process, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't go as chunky. My fingers are smaller, thumb is bigger. I'm glad I did the thumbnail as a junk nail because I learned that I didn't wanna go that chunky and I didn't put as much on it. Sometimes it's easy to overdo a design. So I'm gonna top coat them now, give them some nice shine, and they're gonna get very reflective. They look shiny already. They really do, don't they? Mm -hmm. But we'd have lots of lights in here, so it is bouncing off of them, right? I love adding the top coat. It really does pull the whole design together. It's a simple process, but it really does smooth it right out. I'm also gonna do this in matte. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. 
gorgeous. Beauty. Okay, I'm going to nuke them and then we're going to check out those reveal shots. Okay, these next two photos are a matte finish. You know what I liked about this is that I learned so much from one finger to the next. Look at that thumb. Okay, look at these. Those are pretty cute. I like them. They're delicate. I can see the dark and the light, the shine, the comic book attitude. I get it. But this one, it's not doing it for me as much. I'm really glad I spent some time on that before I figured out what I wanted to do. So the difference is this is a little chunky and I have too many lines and I'm not really discerning which is which, right? Where this is much more uniform and it's only one finger, right? I'm only judging it one finger. But this is much more uniform. It's definitely a side of darker and lighter and it's very consistent. I like it, it's much better. I like that. So if you are interested in applying tips, full cover tips, which is what I did for this set because I wanted speed. Uh, if you're interested in that, check out these videos to show you how to put on full cover tips. <laughs>